Hi and welcome. I'm Christina Deo from Cook and Craft Academy and this is my son Michael and today we're going to show you how to make some delicious egg noodles. Very simple to make, very few ingredients, um, really really simple. So the first thing we need is flour and all-purpose flour is just perfect for this recipe. We also need four eggs, um, also a cup of milk, and just a pinch of salt and two tablespoons of butter. So very easy. So the first thing we're gonna do to make these egg noodles, we need five cups of flour. So Michael, I am going to have you help me out with the flour. And usually, you know, when we are measuring our dry ingredients and we take a big chunk of flour like this, I actually hold that thought one right there. When we're measuring our flour, we like to just kind of use a uh, knife, try not to make too much of a mess, and that will measure our flour. So we need five of these. Do you want to help me measure, Michael? So go ahead, dig right into that flour bowl there, and pull me out some flour. Okay, so you're going to go in there, and we're going to try to just dig as much flour as we can to fill up that cup. So let me just help you a little bit. So again, once that is all uh, uneven, you want to even it up? Yeah. Okay, very carefully. Yes, awesome. Perfect. So that's our number second cup. We'll get a third cup in there. Again, even it off for me, Mikey. Awesome job. Three cups. four cups, and one more. So it's a little bit of a nice little math lesson that we're getting in as well, because we're measuring our amounts and trying not to make too much of a mess, but sometimes you can't help it. And when a little flour like this falls onto our table, it's actually um, quite convenient because we're gonna need the flour to kind of put it on the table and kind of work it. So the next thing we wanna add to our egg noodles is what? Eggs. Eggs, and we have four eggs right here. But before we add them to the flour, we are going to beat these eggs. And we do that really, it's easy. You could do it with a whisk, you could do it with a fork, and I'm just kind of whisking them up. You want to whisk it for me a little bit? Just give it a little bit of a whisk. Perfect. So once the eggs are beaten, we are going to add them to our flour mixture. So. When you think you're done, you can pour them right into that flour mixture, Michael. So that whole thing is going to go right into that. Perfect, Michael. That is awesome. We are also going to add a, two pinches of salt. So I'm going to pinch some salt in there. I'm going to have you pinch some salt. Put it in there, excellent. And the final thing we're going to add to our egg noodles is a cup of milk. So we're going to put that right in there. And we have all the ingredients and that's absolutely all we need. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir this up. Actually, I did leave off an ingredient and that is our butter. But we're gonna mix this for a little bit. I'm gonna let you mix that while I get my butter ready. And you wanna use some softened butter and it's two tablespoons of butter, which I'm going to add in So I'm just going to throw that in there. And we have our butter in there, and we're mixing that all together. Doing a good job, Mr. Michael. Excellent. At, at some given point when you've mixed this together, um, you're going to want to kind of get in there with your hands because I always feel like the best mixing ingredients um, to, uh, utensil would probably be your hands. Of course, you want those hands to be washed, which we certainly will do. So you're going to really kind of bring this together as best you can. And like I said, with some nice washed hands, we are going to get in there. We are, this is our egg noodle dough that we are making. And it smells good, right? I mean, it smells like some 
some good dough, right? Doesn't it? And it kind of feels almost a little bit like one of your slime mixtures. Yeah, but stickier. Stickier. So usually when you have some sticky slime, you add activator, right? I found butter. You found some butter? I guess that'll be our activator. We'll kind of make sure we mush that up so it gets all through our egg noodles. So squeeze that in there really good. And keep mixing this up. And we basically want to really mix this together and bring it together, incorporate it all. We're going to then let it rest for 10 minutes. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. Well, welcome back. Um, we've taken our 10 minute break. We had a lot of fun during that 10 minute break. So our dough now has rested and um, I've put it on a floured surface and I've got myself a rolling pin. Now what I want to do is roll it to about one eighth inch in thickness. And I'm going to work on that. And I'll pick it up a couple times, do a quarter turn and roll it out again. And again, I'm looking for about one eighth inch in thickness. So you really get your work out here and uh, you know, you don't have time to go to the gym because you're making homemade noodles. It's okay because you have really gotten a good workout with this rolling pin. Not really, it's still good to go to the gym, but you know, you're probably gonna wanna go to the gym and work off some of these buttered noodles that we're going to eat. Unless you have a seven-year-old like Michael, right? Who uh, keeps you on your toes and keeps you pretty busy. You like to do that, don't you, Mike? Yeah. All right, you want to try rolling this out? Yes. Put your muscle into it, really roll it out. All right, muscles, muscles. Let me see those seven-year-old muscles. You got it, you got it. Keep rolling it. It is good, right? You like that? Is it, is it as much fun as making slime, Michael? Mm, more fun than making slime. Really? Well, because then you get the reward of actually eating it for dinner, right? Yeah. All right, so I think we're, we're just about good. We've rolled it out. It's about, I mean, if you're a purist, you could pull out a ruler and make sure that you've measured it one eighth inch in thickness. But I think we are going to just kind of trust what we got going and kind of just eyeball it, as they say. All right, so now we're taking a pizza cutter and we're going to cut our strips. And these are our noodle strips. Now, you may want some thick noodles and you may want some thinner noodles. I'm kind of cutting them a little bit on the thicker side. But again, it's a, really a matter of preference. You know, or what you could do is do a little mixture of both if you want. Um, that one is a little way too thick, but uh, if that happens, I'll just double roll another little uh, pizza cutter right through it. And the beauty of cutting these noodles yourself, if they're not quite perfect, it kind of gives it that nice kind of rustic look to it. And then the people who you're feeding really kind of know that you have made these noodles by hand and you have put all this love and effort into their meal. And I think that they will love it and not necessarily scold you for not having perfect sizes. Would you agree with that, Michael? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you, you are feeding a perfectionist, in that case, I say pull out your ruler and make sure your strips are as even as possible because we don't want any arguments at the table during dinner. All right, now, before we put these in boiling water, we need to kind of let them dry a little bit and it is okay. We don't need to kind of put them on a drying rack. We can just, more or less just kind of set them aside. 
let them dry for about 15, 20 minutes. And then we're gonna stick them into some salted, um, salted water. And then we're gonna put some butter and have some buttered noodles. And you can always add some pesto to it. A little Parmesan cheese is nice. Um, some people would add a, a little marinara sauce, which is fine too. But these, the egg noodles usually go really well with some, some butter, so. So now we're gonna drop our noodles into our boiling water. And once they rise to the top, then we know that they are done and we'll take them out. So, adding them in. 